How's it going guys? It's been a long time. In this video, I want to discuss how I recorded the violin section for the song that was released this past Sunday called Ukraine. The song as of now has 2.7 million views on YouTube. So it's a pretty significant uh, hit. So I started playing violin when I was six and it's, it was my first instrument, I guess technically second instrument after piano. And um, I finished music school playing violin. I played a lot of music in college. So it's been, uh, gosh, 34 years? <laughs> Scary. Um, so yeah, I, um, I was asked to record violins and um, without exaggeration, it took me about half an hour. I was kind of impatient as I frequently am and um, it wound up sounding pretty good to me. So the concept that I want to discuss, and I will show you on Logic, all the different tracks, basically, conceptually, if you want to recreate the sound of a string section, if you're the only musician or any other kind of a gang vocal, you need to be imperfect, and which is good because I don't really play violin all that much. So the imperfections, come naturally to me because, you know, I, I don't practice anymore. I pick it up every once in a while when I need to record something or if I have a, some kind of a performance, but yeah, I don't have time to practice violin, uh, woodshedding five hours a day like pros do. So anyway, in, in, this, uh, in this song, I literally just recorded one track at a time without uh, spending w uh, too much time cleaning it up. It was all one take. Every track is exactly one take. And um, together, when there's imperfections, it sounds natural because no, uh, no two musicians will play exactly the same. So let's take a look on my computer. But before we do, I want to discuss my equipment. So it's my... Um, my Italian violin from 1961 that I, that's my only good violin that I own. I use the warm audio microphone and uh, for the sound interface, I use the Helix. I plugged it into the Helix. I made sure that the level was good. It was not clipping, it was loud enough. And um, on the microphone, I use figure eight. So it was picking up the sound around me, which I think is very important if you're recording violin because the sound comes from all different directions. Let's take a look on the computer. All right, so this is Logic Pro X and uh, this is my session that uh, I recorded and I basically exported all the tracks as WAV files and sent them over for mixing. This is my kind of mix down, not the final product, but it sounds like this. curious how it sounds kind of individually let me see so I, I guess I can add things one by one let me see start with one and uh, I basically uh, played mostly in unison some octaves some intervals well, let's see This is what it sounded like in the finished product. It's, um, it's not as loud, it's more kind of in the context, the low parts are mixed out slightly. So there you go. This is how I recorded violins and uh, to me it's pretty exciting that uh, my first instrument is still being my first instrument that I learned how to play is still kind of relevant. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.